Ashley. I'm right here. I thought you were gonna die. Okay. You did this. Yeah. Yeah, I did this. Can you stand? Map. Yeah, I found it. I think it says we can get out if we go this way. Hey, we're a team, right? Keep this up. I'll be out of a job. So, all of this, removing the parasites, this was the week. Yeah, we're alive. Thanks to him. So, Luis, they... I don't know what I'm looking at here. <laughs> Luis did get Someone a lot... had a field day looting the Umbrella Labs. Luis did get a lot of um, additional uh, treatment in this game as opposed to in the original where he was more or less just a character to exist for a short period of time and then sort of get killed off fairly early in the game. So they made him not only a little bit easier to um, understand his motivations and all that kind of stuff, they have him, even after his death, have him influencing the story in some way, where we have, like, oh, well, he was the person who created the way of getting out of here before, but it was... I bet we could use that. Yeah, I bet you could. Ah, there's nothing in here, is there? In the original game, they did have this, where Luis created the way of removing the plug out of their body. But in this, they have like, oh, well, like, they sort of thank him after the fact. Just a little touch. Sorry. Like I said, we're a team. You're getting good at that. Right? Ashley's getting quite a bit more confident the further along we get into this game, especially now that the parasite is out of her body and she doesn't have to worry about that. The uh, you're okay. Uh, never been better. Good. I something else I'd said before a few times. It's a really nice touch that they have. Ashley seemed to show some kind of genuine concern for Leon, as opposed to him just sort of being her means of escaping. I mean, she does, in the original game, she does kind of come on to him at the end of the game. She's just brushing her hair off her face without it moving. <laughs> Still, little touches that are important. What the is this place? that woman who helped us. You think she's all right? Oh, I'm sure she's fine. She's not the type to roll over that easy. Sounds like you know her well. You started to see this in, like, the PlayStation 2 era, where as character models got more and more detailed, the greater and greater opportunities there were to input subtle little details in the way that their expressions, their mannerisms, the way their hands move and all that kind of stuff, which on one hand can come across really clunky because the more accurate a, or realistic a character model looks, the more obvious it is when something doesn't quite look natural. But you can have little details in there that really just make... Ah, oh, shit, I saw it too. I walked right into it. You can have just tiny little details in there, which make everything feel more real, more alive. 
Now, of course, we are well into the generation of things looking not, while not photorealistic in any way. Realistic in a way, in a level that really makes him feel human. Where'd you come from? This is all just extra crap. Is there anything here to collect? Yeah, there is. Something I... Like, where I really... Sud is that a piece of glass? Oh, it's a hole in the wall. <laughs> Some, where I'd really started to notice was, was back in the PlayStation 2 in the, in the game Final Fantasy X had this. And it was the first moment, way back then, when I realized that we were starting to approach that. There was a scene where they're riding on the back of some kind of large creature across a shallow lake. And... The main character is sitting there, like, leaning back, and you have this character who's rambling off some racist tirade. Not realizing that one of the other characters in your party is actually, like a half member of that race and the character is back and his eyes roll to the left and then his eyes roll to the right as though like you see this sudden like the wheels turning in his head a realization that like yeah there's an awkward situation here and let me just intervene in this before it gets more awkward Thanks. and it was like those little details as much as people say that graphics don't matter in a way that they do, because in that manner it does matter. Because it makes them feel more real and it allows those minor little details to really show up. Now in this, it's it's a little bit strange that she's doing it the entire game. She should get a little bit more normalized to the situation. But these minor little, little gestures that Ashley does here, where she looks like she's scared all the time and she looks like... She, like, the way she's curling her body up right there in a way, her hands across her belly and all that, makes her look like she's afraid. It does kind of seem strange that she's doing it the entire game, but in the beginning, at least, it makes it feel, like, more realistic. Or more... not relatable, I guess, because who's been through a situation like this? Anyway, it makes it feel more real. Of course, there are always going to be ridiculous video game-isms. Like, who's lighting these fucking braziers? Hey, bug. How you doing? You're not that well disguised. The way she covers her ears whenever you fire your gun off. And other little details, like... When you run into her, she steps out of the way. Okay, she didn't really do it then. All right, it's okay, she's not really doing it. Kind of get into a more open area, where she sort of like reacts, like oh, oh god, about to get run into. <laughs> she's not doing it. Anyway, little details that she's not doing, but also like the fact that she's sort of covering her chest up a little bit. Seriously, motherfucker? Leon, it really pops up more when he you can see that he's been injured, how he walks more slowly. Now, of course, in, like, Resident Evil 2, the original Resident Evil 2 had a degree of this, where, like, the character gets injured, they walk a little bit slower, they limp. But it wasn't that detailed. This is much more realistic. Makes you, like, may, it, although it is a bit of a frustration. <laughs> watching a character do this all the time, or when you don't have any healing items and you're not in danger, though. And you have to watch the character just sort of limp around. 
I'm actually pretty close to the end of the game here. I don't know what I should... Welcome. Got a selection of good things on sale, stranger. Crossing your T's, dotting your I's. That's the way to be. Might want to take care of any leftover errands before going this way. Be ashamed to live the rest of your life wondering. Yeah, what could possibly be left? What if? Although there is a treasure dangling from the ceiling over here somewhere. Yeah, I didn't need that. But yeah, this is pretty much the end of the game, so... Just sort of, uh... Get everything you need. Welcome. Ooh, what you buying? I guess the rocket launcher would be a good All my buy right about now. Tip -top shape. This would I'm really, sure. like, make the end of the game a lot easier. I'm sure I'll find more ammo out there. Might as well craft everything I can, reload everything I can, and I have a flash grenade, so let me register that here. Welcome. And I'll end the episode before I move on because you know, end Next of the game. Time.